What? What is it? I can't take this anymore. What? Tell me. I'll make it better. I can't breathe. You're taking up all the air. I feel like I'm drowning. I don't understand. I can't stay here. I'm not cut out for this anymore. I tried. Maybe I didn't. I don't know anything anymore. I just know that I don't want to be married. Not anymore. Not to you. Tell me what I can do. There has to be something. Tell me. You can't do anything. It's already done. I filed for divorce three days ago. I'm sorry. in the house. It's one o'clock in the morning. I don't want to put on a show for the neighbors. I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh, boy. That's pretty damn convenient. Not for me. I'm 38. I wouldn't humiliate myself with a 17-year-old's line if it wasn't the... Forget it. Let me know where to send your thing. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Why are you telling me this now? I just found out this week. When was I going to tell you, Cal? Between battles? You know what my CO would say if I divorced a pregnant woman? It's none of his business. Yeah, right. I'll be sure to tell him that when he puts in my efficiency rating that I walked out on my unborn child. You have to do what you have to do, Cal. Like being in a damn spider web. Please don't go. I don't feel well. Oh, sweetheart, I know. Oh, oh, come here. Here's your lipstick. Mama. I know, but I have to go to work, okay? I'll tell you what, though. I'll give you a call at lunchtime. Huh? Would you like that? Oh, I know. Better yet, why don't you call me? Hmm? That'd be fun, wouldn't it? No. Why can't you stay? Why can't you stay? Hurry, Mama. Oh, sweetie. Oh, Karen, you shouldn't be packing that boy around. He's too heavy. Okay. Now remember, Mom, he needs his ear drops in about a half an hour. And he can't take any medicine on an empty stomach, so give him, like, a half an apple or something before he takes his aspirin. I've got your sweater, Mama. Oh. It's David, Mama. Okay. Oh, thanks. Got the other one? There we go. Hurry, Karen. You wouldn't do to inconvenience David. Now remember, mwah, you call me at lunch, I'm gonna be very unhappy. And you, you wait for me. Okay. I'm gonna pick you up after school. What are you talking for? In a hurry. Gotta get to work. Oh. You just can't wait to have a kiss, could you? You should hang a big sign on the house that says honk if you want a kiss. <laughs> My mother is watching. How'd she get out here so early on her broomstick? No, I sent her an SOS. My babysitter called at six, so don't insult my mother. She's saving my life. So, do you want me to open it? Oh, that's for me? Don't be coy. What is it, Christmas? Why are you always buying me things, Karen? Well, I didn't buy this. I made it. You made that? You knitted that yourself? Yes, with my own two hands. I think the colors are perfect. When am I going to wear it? Oh, come on. You can wear this anywhere. At home, at work. That way you'll have to think about me. Karen, and I... All right. Not at home. It's just that I never wear anything that beautiful, especially at work, you know? People will notice. And maybe say something to your wife. I was thinking, I guess I forgot.
Can you come by tonight? I hope I can. I'll call you. I would not go in there if I were you. Keely was late again. And she's getting canned in a very loud way. Great. I was going to ask for an extra week on my maternity leave this morning. Cute. Who was he? Oh, um, he's just a friend from in town. My car's in the shop, so he drove out and gave me a lift. You should have called me. I live so close. Oh, thanks. But, you know, I didn't want to bother you. I don't mind. We're friends. <laughs> Hey, I'm not paying you to sit out here and court lung cancer, Dinah. You're late, Karen. I'm sorry. Kevin has an ear infection. Three times in two weeks. I know. I'm hey, sorry. Hey, things are rough all over. Look, I hired you because I needed a reliable store manager and you needed a job. Up front, you asked for a month's maternity leave and I gave it to you. Now, all this stuff is not part of the deal. You either get it together or you get out. End of story. Anger and desire to run at the same time with... Love and dependency, which probably brings us back to anger, which conflicts with love, and so it goes in circles. One mother I know has a big sign uh, she holds in front of her when her teenagers are starting to give her some grief. So why don't you leave home since you already know everything? <laughs> you think that mother really hates her kids and wants them to leave? Yeah. <laughs> All right, quick. If there are any mothers or daughters here who are angry about anything. All right, all right. What is it? Come on. Nothing. Come on. Are you pregnant? Of course, I understand. Is David coming? Get you so fit, you'll scare yourself. I don't, uh, I don't feel so well. I guess that's why they call it morning sickness. This Lifetime Movie Network feature is sponsored by Kohl's Department Stores. Kohl's, expect great things.
men like ponies. Ponies are perfect. cleans off the table around here anymore? It smells like a paint factory around here. Bianca! Could have cracked a few windows. Bianca, you planning on cooking dinner tonight or am I supposed to make it myself? You're crying out loud, who's supposed to pay for all this stuff? God. Bianca? I need a doctor, quick! Somebody get me a doctor! Oh, there's a new one. Get out of my way, you little jerk. It's Captain Hudson. This is my wife. She's four months pregnant. She fell off a ladder. It's all right now. Everything will be fine, Captain. Just let us do what we're paid to do. Dr. Hello there. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Beinert. Cal? Cal's fine. I wish I could say the same for you. What kind of test have you done on me? Where's my husband? Uh, we sent him home to get some fresh clothing for you. Mrs. Hudson, you are very sick. I won't play games with you. This fall you took from the ladder. I didn't really fall. I got dizzy, that's all. I got down all right. I've been throwing up a lot lately. It's... It's the morning sickness. No, it isn't morning sickness, Mrs. Hudson. I wish it were that simple. Look, the vomiting, the dehydration, the dizziness, blackouts, they're all signs of acute diabetes. <laughs> No, no, that's not possible. You've probably been borderline for years, and now it's becoming dangerously severe. Well, this isn't the Middle Ages. Surely this is something you can control. Well, that's true, Mrs. Hudson, but your husband tells us you're four months pregnant. And given the severity of your condition, well, I'm not at all sure you can carry a healthy baby to term. What are you saying? that I should terminate my pregnancy? I want you to be prepared for the likelihood that there could be damage to the fetus. And until we run some tests, we just won't... No. You don't understand. This baby is very important. I can't lose this baby. Oh, come on now. We don't have to cross that bridge until we get to it. Uh, even in the worst-case scenario, this doesn't have to be the end of your childbearing. We get you back on your feet again 100%. There is no reason why you can't try again in a year or so. <laughs> I don't have a year. I want to see my husband. I want right, to see all right, Cal. All right, all right, all right. I'll go see if he's back. Doctor. Don't tell him, please. That's my place. All right. But, Mrs. Hudson, your husband needs to know. And soon.
Did you talk to Dr. Beinart? He said you needed to talk to me. Did he say why? Bianca, I don't even know why you want to see me after the way I behaved. God, you know, uh, when I saw you laying on the floor, you looked uh, so breakable. I guess uh, I realized for the first time that there's a life inside, an actual life. And uh, I wanted it. I want the baby. I sort of made a promise to God that um, if you got through it and the baby survived, that uh, I'd be a good father. I'd learn how to be. Oh, God. This whole thing scares the hell out of me. I sound like a jerk. But, uh, this stuff, I'm, I'm very good at it, I guess. I never will be. You're fine. And I'm fine. And our baby's going to be fine, too. You need this baby like you need more bad luck. Don't give me that look. I've been looked at harder by meaner monkeys than you. Mom, if you didn't want to help, why don't you just say so? Did I say that? What I said was two kids are enough. And you with no husband. I had a husband. Now you have somebody else's husband. How is Mrs. Anderson? I don't know, Mom. You tell me. You seem to know so much more about my life than I do. I know I didn't raise my daughter to sleep around with married men. Jenny, sweetheart, please, would you take Kevin outside of the backyard to play before it gets too cold? But Mama, we want to help. Please, we before the sun goes down. But Mama, why can't we help? Don't you ever talk like that in front of my kids again. Do you hear me? I suppose half of Saratino heard you. I don't know why it's worse for me to say it than for you to shack up. You see, that is why I moved out here. To keep you and all these other busy but Mom, I'm not stupid. I know how this looks. But David's love for me is just something that... If he loves you so much, why hasn't he married you, huh? Did he pay for any of this? Has he paid for anything? How does he expect you, let alone your baby, to survive on what you make at that pizza joint? It's not that simple. He doesn't want to hurt her. Besides, he's got his kids to think about. It's just not that simple. Karen, I can take everything except your being a fool. If you got pregnant thinking to bring David to heel, then you are in for nothing but hard times. You mark my words. And I don't think you understand the depth of my husband's religious convictions, or mine for that matter. We simply can't accept abortion as a, an option, Dr. Beinart. So these tests are totally unnecessary. Besides, I know my baby is perfectly healthy. Mrs. Hudson, you have to believe me when I tell you we could be talking about a severely impaired child who would never lead... Mrs. Hudson, I feel it's my duty to speak directly with the captain. Captain Beinart, I'm keeping the baby. And I don't think your commanding officer would like to hear that you tried to coerce a couple into doing something against their religious principles. Of course not. No, I didn't think so. Can't be right. Where does this all go? Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! 
this. Mama, come look. Hey, oh, don't, David, don't let what's it in the bag? Oh, what's catch in the bag? It here. Yeah. Mama, look at the tree David brought. <laughs> it's beautiful. What would I do without you? Okay, okay. Wow, she's beautiful. One, two, three, showtime. Yay! Ruby. Ooh, oh, looks oh. great. Huh? It's so beautiful. Hey, you feel that? What? Uh-oh. Restless. What's that? Just speak up, I can't hear you. Oh, she says the food is good, but she needs a bigger apartment. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Mom! Grandma! I didn't know you were coming. Since when do I need an appointment to see my daughter? Mom, please don't do this. I guess I'll be heading home, can I? You don't have to go. It's getting late. You got another tree to trim, David? Why do you have to do this? Is it my fault? I don't like to see my daughter being used He's by... not using me. He loves me. And I love him. Why can't you just accept that? Oh, yeah. Merry Christmas. This guy's coming down, and he's coming down, and then he, he puts out the hook and he bounces off and misses the cable. And he goes up and goes back around and comes back in, and he's barely got enough fuel to make another pass. About six and a half, actually. Six and a half months? Are you serious? Well, actually, it's uh, closer to seven. I don't believe you. <laughs> Those ankles, they're minuscule. They don't exist. <laughs> And look at that belly. <laughs> I'm bigger than I look. It's the dress. It uh, covers a multitude of sins. Uh, you couldn't have hidden my belly under a circus tent by seven months. <laughs> Isn't that so, Russ? Hey, Russell. You say something, honey? <laughs> I tell you, it's like they're from a different planet. Some questions are better left unanswered. <laughs> Anything dealing with a woman's weight falls into that category. <laughs> hey, Cal. Two and a half months to go. You must be getting to be quite the hand at pant and push. Lamaze! Are you saying you escaped natural childbirth hell? Well, uh... I guess I just didn't see the point. And you told Bianca that? Well, no. Uh, well, actually, she said fine. Fine? Oh, man, some guys have all the luck. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you say your OBGYN is? Captain Miller? Uh, no, a townie, actually. Good for you. Some things just aren't Air Force, like stirrups and oddly placed mirrors. <laughs> I always wanted a town doctor, but Clark said, why pay for what you can get for free? You're a lucky one to have a husband like Cal. I tell myself that every day. Are you sure the doctor said it was okay for you to be so cold all the time? Maybe I should turn up the furnace. No, don't do that. You'd bake. You know, you hate it when it gets above 60. Yeah, but I'm not pregnant. Really, I'd rather just bundle up. Artificial heat gives me terrible headaches. Since when? Since I got pregnant, Goose. You know how pregnant women get? Be thankful I'm not sending you out into the dark for... Rocky Road and kosher pickles. <laughs> Well, if you did need anything for the baby, you would tell me, right? What's the matter, Cal? This is natural childbirth thing. Do you think it's something uh, that we should 
do? Do you think it would be better for the baby? I mean, do you want to do it? Do you? Yeah, I, I would. You get squeamish when I cut up a fryer. You let me take care of this, hmm? Dr. Beinart said about the diabetes and all that, but mm. <laughs> you look pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. It wouldn't be safe. Not for the baby. sleep. Looks like I'm a little late. That's okay. Well, do you want to hold your baby daughter, Mr. Anderson? after her mommy. This is crazy. Come on, Karen. Karen, not now. Come on. God, I thought you would take one look at Sophie and just melt. I thought you would decide right on the spot that you had to stay. You know that's impossible, at least right now, and I've never promised you more than I could give you. I'm going to love this baby. You'll see. You're going to miss all her first... first step, her first word, her first... 
first date. Oh. Our first broken heart. wives want to throw a baby shower for Bianca. Truth is, I think they feel a little guilty for not having one sooner. Anyhow, what I'm supposed to find out from you is, you know, what's a good day? Uh, Bianca's due soon, isn't she? Due? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, shower, huh? Yeah, you know, punch, cookies, really stupid games. <laughs> There's this one with cotton balls and a wooden spoon. It's tribal. Anyway, check with Bianca. Get back to me ASAP so that I can get the Commander-in-Chief off my back. Okay. I'm sorry, I just don't see the point. This baby already has everything it could possibly need for the next 10 years. Bauer's the head of my department. And if his wife wants to give you a baby shower, if he wants to adopt you, I'm not gonna say no. But I don't really know her. None of those women. I'd feel silly, awkward. Well, I'm gonna feel a damn sight more silly if Bauer gets down on my case. And we're just talking about a baby shower here. It's not the end of civilization as we know it. Give me a date. Here, taste this at your favorite. Get out of here with that. You're making an idiot out of me. Cal, this isn't like you. Look, I don't like being in the dark. I got no dates, no info. Look, how can you get so excited about a shower when you don't even know what a shower is? I don't give a diddly squat about a baby shower. I want to know the date, the due date. When the hell is my baby coming? February. Wow, well... <laughs> I guess that narrows it down. That gives us the 28 options. The 20th, the 21st, it's not an exact science. Okay. Twenty-eighth, twenty-first. There it is. In case you change your mind, you know. A nine-year-old petrol girl has a new lease on life thanks to surgery at the hospital. Little baby, don't say what's gonna buy you my kingdom. Good looking, don't say what's gonna buy you down. Mrs. Hudson, all our clients stress privacy in the matter of adoption. You and the captain appear to be perfect candidates for the kind of work that we do. How soon? Well, all these things take time. But in your case, you'd be surprised if you weren't up to your elbows and diapers within the year. A year? But I need, uh... I was thinking maybe a week or two, three at the most. Look, uh... I can make it worth your while. Hudson, you're very kind, but I think we'll pass on that. Of course, if you'd like to find out. Okay, great. So all the numbers will be by the telephone in the kitchen, okay? And Jenny and Kevin know everything. Yes. <laughs> so. Oh, that will be fine. Well, perfect. Then I'll see you by 7 on the 19th. Yes. Thanks, Mrs. Johnson. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
No, thank you. Ma'am? Ma'am, you forgot your flowers. And the children are how old? Three and five. Yes, that is when they start to be fun. But I'm better with infants. Thank you, though. Mom, I know what you said. I thought this time I had finally found a reliable babysitter. Well, for crying out loud, she looked like Aunt B. Yes, I asked for references. I can't miss work. Mom, it's my first day back. I have to open. I can't lose this job. Mom, I know you said you didn't want to spend the rest of your life babysitting grandkids. But I have nobody else to call. Mom, please. Oh, come on, Mom, I gotta go. Look, the ad is still running, so if anybody calls about it, just set up an interview, talk to him, just try and give me a couple to choose from, all right? Oh, you trust my judgment that far? Mom. Uh, here. Yourself. There you go, got it? Hey, okay, so great, so thanks. Hey, so pretty girl, yes. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, sweetheart. Look, I'll be back at noon to nurse her. And she felt a little warm this morning, so can you keep an eye on that? And if uh, she starts to run a fever, just be sure... And go all to pieces. Good heavens, Karen. I have raised more than a few kids devoting voting age. I'll grab some slack, okay? Oh, Sophie. Want to say goodbye to Mama? Want to say bye-bye, Mama? Come on, let's go say bye-bye, Mama. Yes, the job is still open. <laughs> Newborn. Well, four weeks. That's about as close as you can get, right? No, that's fine. Uh, I have a map. Now that's 10.30, yes? Uh, that's right. Lang, Marcy Lang. Yes, I'll see you then, Mrs. Benson. Pretty boy. Well, my Karen makes pretty kids. There's no denying that. The older one, Jessie? <laughs> Jenny. That's right, Jenny. She's in the first grade now. Yes, yeah, she'd be no trouble. She goes to school at 7.30 and doesn't get home until... Oh, Marcy. These references. I don't know if my Karen can afford you. Well, it's, it's really not a matter of the money I... I love babies, children. Babysitting gets me out of the house for a few hours. You want to see the nursing, Marcy? Um, I need to get that. Would you mind holding her? Not at all. I'd love to. Williams. Yeah, uh-huh. That's right. Full-time, three kids. I think the job may be taken, but hold on a minute, and I'll write that down for Karen. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mom, you like it. We have Mom and the Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. All right. We have a lot of new things for the baby. She put red pictures on all the walls. 
I think I'm going to see all of my dinosaurs. Marcy, are you coming? All right, all right, Lois, I'll have her call you. Yeah, okay, bye-bye. your mom. Probably lost the TV remote. Yeah, Mom. Mom, call 911. Mom, call 911. I'll be right there. So, did you tell her you're gonna make her suffer? I have to go. Hey, we open in half an hour. I have to go. Well, what about the lunch crowds? I can't cook. I don't even know how to fire the oven. I don't understand this. I'm afraid it's standard procedure in cases like this, Mrs. Williams. Cases like this? What does that mean? Why are these people digging up my front yard? Why aren't they out looking for my baby? We put an APB out on the woman using the description your mother gave us, along with a description of the car. I can't believe this. I can't believe any of it. She was so nice, so well-dressed, and so clean. When the phone rang, it was the most natural thing in the world to ask her to hold the baby. You have to understand, Mrs. Williams, it's our experience in cases like this that the baby wasn't taken by an outsider, but by a person who you knew... You just gave my baby to a total stranger? What? Some woman you've never seen before in your life? No, but Karen, I told you. She, she was so clean, and her smile, Karen, she had the lovely smile. Did you ever smile. love her, Mom? Did you ever love her? Did you ever think of her as one of your own Sophie, grandchildren, like I, Jenny or Kevin? I love Sophie. Did Did you you know? Know? Mrs. Mrs. If I could just ask you a few questions. <laughs> I don't know anything. Oh, God, how am I going to tell David? I can just tell you the demographic spread. The sheer numbers of people we can reach who have no access at all to high-tech medical procedures. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I hate to interrupt. David, there's a call for you. Now? Just, I think maybe you'll want to take it. Now. I'm sorry. Just excuse me a moment. I 
didn't you tell me about this? Why didn't you trust me? Call me, Kurt. David, David, what do you call this? You call this making a decision? The receptionist? Karen Williams? You're gonna wreck your life and everything we built together for a receptionist? That's why she quit. Because you knocked her up. Great. Good thinking all around. I ought to You're my you boss, Kurt. You do what you have to do. I'm not your boss. I'm your friend. That's what kills me. You stonewall me for months, then you drop a bomb like this Karen Williams thing. Karen Williams thing? Some weirdo kidnapped my baby. You get it? She stole my little girl. Why didn't Ann tell me about this situation? Why do you guys shut me out like this? Because Ann doesn't know. Yet. And you're gonna go public with this? I beg you, buddy, don't. David, think! When people find out about this little love nest of yours, you're through. You're not gonna look good no matter how you handle this. said you were at work when the baby was taken. Can anyone substantiate that? The airport lead didn't pan out. I'm sorry, what? You said you were at work when the baby was taken. Can anyone substantiate that? You know, I don't understand. My mother told the police exactly what happened. I have told you everything I know. What are you people still doing here? Why don't you go out and find hey. my baby? David. Sorry, I should have been here. Ah, oh, and the boyfriend. Who are you? DePaul, FBI. What are you doing to find Sophie? All we can. Mr. Uh, Anderson. Mr. Anderson, what does your wife think about your little arrangement with... What the hell does that have to do with anything? My wife... Is also a possible suspect. That's crazy. She doesn't know anything about us. She doesn't. I mean, one of the reasons I moved here when I first got pregnant was to keep things private. Private. Uh-huh. Maybe your wife wanted you to believe that she was in the dark. Did you ever think about that? It's ridiculous. There's not a deceitful bone in the woman's body. You mean to stand there and tell me that the thought never crossed either one of your minds that she was the one who did this? Hey, Hudson, someone kick your dog? Something wrong? No, uh, Bianca had the baby. A baby? Well, all right, Air Force. All right. <laughs> Boy or girl? Uh, she had a girl. You sure? No, no, that's fantastic. Boys ain't word spit. Oh, we proof of that, huh? <laughs> How's Bianca doing? Uh, she's fine. A little tired and glad to be home, I guess. Oh, wait, wait a sec. She had the baby today, and they already let her go home? Well, that's what she said. Uh, she's always been a very strong woman. I guess so. Did the hospital give her a bed or, or just a bullet with directions to the nearest bush? <laughs> <laughs> she said her water broke at work, and uh, that's all I know, so I guess I got to go home. Thanks. Congratulations. Congratulations. <clears throat> Someone won the lottery? Bianca had a baby, a little girl. That is one tough cookie. Bianca! 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 Don't you want to see your baby girl, Captain Hudson? <laughs> Thanks, 
She has my mother's eyes. You don't have to go through with this. Look at you. Look what it's doing to you. You heard Lieutenant Thompson. He said that sometimes this is... I don't give a damn what Lieutenant Thompson says. Or DePaul. He's a sanctimonious bastard. He doesn't give a damn about Sophie. Or you. Or me. Or Anne. I've got to protect her, too, somehow. Yeah, I guess she took it pretty hard. Hard isn't the word for it. How do you think she took it? Well, I guess right now I don't really care. You don't want me to go on TV because you're afraid I'm going to use your name. Is that it? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Karen, it's time. I know this is a tough one, Karen. I know it's the last thing you want to do. Open your heart to every Tom, Dick, or Harry with the TV. But, honey, I got to tell you, unless we get your story out there, unless we flood the state with Sophie's picture and your grief, we're bucking long odds as it is. Yesterday morning, a woman, she said her name was uh, Marcy Lang. This woman came into my home and stole my little girl. My Sophie Louise. She just took her. this woman I just want Sophie back I just want my daughter back. no it's too round it's too round the jawline was uh, sharper I think the eyes were deeper. No, no, maybe, maybe, um, wider, you know, because the, the nose was broader. I said broader. Can't you understand broader? Yeah, see you later, okay? We've been at this for hours, and all you've come up with is some kind of street punk. I, I want to go home. Karen needs me, and I need to be doing something real. Do you love your children, Ms. Williams? I'll be back in about a minute. What do you mean, do I love my children? What kind of a question is that? A straight and forward kind. Well, what do we have here? A young, unmarried woman, two kids, a dead-end job, married lover making no real effort to divorce his wife and lighten the load. Wham, bam, you get pregnant, and lover boy still drags his heels. Why are you doing this to me? And that's exactly what Mrs. Anderson said when we questioned her. Thought she was going to take off Loverboy's head when he finally let her know what was up. But uh, when the smoke settled, she was crying in his arms and he was telling her how sorry he was and how everything was going to be all right. Some guy you have there, a real lady killer. So, uh, maybe you're 
in a post-holiday slump. Maybe uh, you take a good look in the mirror and you don't like what you see. Maybe, uh, maybe you don't see any other way out. Is that how it happened? You can tell me, Karen. I just want to help you. What did you do with the baby, Karen? Are you crazy? I didn't do anything. Tell me where you hid the body. You tell me and I'll try. I didn't do anything. God, I love my baby. I would never do anything to hurt her. My God. Why are you doing this to me? Like the dead. <laughs> How long have you been up? She's awfully crying. That's what babies do. All the time? She hasn't cried all the time. She has been ever since I got home. What's that? It's where they cut the umbilical cord. Don't touch it. They get infected easily. She's so teeny, I'm surprised they let you bring her home so soon. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm surprised that you brought her home so soon. You know, okay? You're acting kind of funny. What's the matter? Hmm? I just had a baby. I've been up all night. I'm sleepy, that's all. You know, I know you're a strong woman and everything, but um, maybe you came home from the hospital too soon. I'm fine. How many times do I have to say it? All over the world, women have babies in fields. In the U.S., they turn it into a three-ring circus. Look, I, I, I'm going to shower and try to wake myself up. Pop's gonna buy you a diamond ring. If that diamond ring turns brass, Papa's gonna buy you a looking glass. She's got lungs. Yeah, lungs come standard. Hey, look, Cal. It's an academy tradition to bring dinner over for a week when one of the faculty members has a baby. So, uh, tell me, when do we bring over the meatloaf and peas? Why don't you come on over today? Uh, I guess today's not a real good time. Uh, Bianca's exhausted. That's the reason for the tradition, Captain. Whoa! Another country heard from. Yeah, well, today is definitely... Today is definitely not a good day. Uh, Bianca's really had it. I think she came home from the hospital too soon at uh, Mount Hamilton. Mount Hamilton? Oh, right. She went townie. Well, yeah, she went into labor in her office. Uh, you know, it was the closest place. Cal, get off. Who's the doctor? The doctor's name was Robards. I, I don't know. That, look, I got to get off the phone. I got to help her out, okay? All right, okay. All right, bye. Well? Sounds like Cal's got his hands full over there. Cal? Isn't that just like a man? Damn! Don't you start. French toast is your favorite. Well, no, I meant to ask Cal more details about the birth. I want to put an announcement up at the office. Then what happened, Davey? Little Karen get knocked up? Maybe on purpose. Maybe put a little squeeze play on. Maybe she threatened to blow things for you. Wife, job, life. Maybe you decided one more kid is one more kid too many. You decided little Sophie's more trouble than she's worth. Come on, guy, take it easy. Would you? Come on. Hey, stop it! I didn't kill Sophie, you son of a bitch! I didn't kill her! Take him home, Mrs. Williams. I'll be in touch. Believe it. Thank you.
information regarding the situation. We need to help you guys. I can't take much more of this. Then maybe you should go home. What? I can't hold you together right now. I can't think about you. All I can think about or care about right now is Sophie. What are you saying to me? I'm saying that DePaul ate me alive, too. And I'm saying that right now I'm close to breaking, and I need somebody to be strong for me, to be really here for me. And I just don't think that you can do that. Karen, please don't turn away from me now. If you need your hand held, go home to your wife. I'm tapped out. Still nothing? Nothing. Sorry. I don't get it. I mean, if it's not the ransom, then what? I mean, what can you do with a baby except to... They mean to keep her, don't they? I mean, am I ever going to see Sophie again? Hello? Is this Karen Williams? Yes, this is Karen. To you. Stuff like this brings all kinds out from under their rocks. Karen? I'm okay. I am. I just can't sit around here anymore. I've got to do something to find her. Honey, there's not much more you can do. It's the kidnapper's call. Lieutenant Thompson, they need you outside, sir. Don't you understand? Don't you get it? Your little sister is gone. Maybe dead. Don't you understand that? you guys would do anything to help her. And I have never blamed you for any of this, okay? Please, you mustn't think that, okay? We're gonna get through this. We just gotta stick together, okay? Be strong for each other. this press conference because I know the only way to get Sophie back is to get her face out across the country. That way someone will have to see her and the police say the first hours are very crucial. Well, Sophie's been gone over 24 
And I know that if I'm going to find her, I have to... Karen, certain sources have indicated that you could be responsible for the disappearance of Sophie. That, in fact, you and your lover have... All right, that's it. Stop it. You just stop it right there. Everything off. Turn everything off now. I want you out of my house. You haven't answered you my question. You can walk or you can crawl. Are you threatening said, me? get out. Now, the rest of you can just listen. I need to use you to bring my baby home. And if you get a story, a byline, a prize-winning photograph out of it, I don't really care. That's fine. But from now on, I am using you. And I will not be treated like a criminal. Is that clear? Baby was delivered on the 19th. The doctor's name was uh, Robarts, Dr. Robarts. I, I guess there's some mistake. Yeah, uh, sorry to bother you. That was the craziest thing. The nurse says that there's no record of any Hudson baby being delivered at Mount Hamilton and that Dr. Robarts wasn't even on duty Friday. Hmm. You know what I think? Hmm. I think she had the baby at home. Don't give me that look. It's the latest thing. Not as far as I'm concerned. You know, Russell, if she did have that baby at home, somebody better go over there and make sure she and the baby are all right. Cal sure wouldn't know what to look for. The baby did sound pretty fussy when I talked to him on the phone. All right. Tomorrow. Well, he's out at the airport. Could you put these along Concord? Run these up to Cooper Town. Karen, Channel 4 is at 2.30. And did you connect with the public access? Mm -hmm. Too much. Look at this place. It's like a war room in a movie. Excuse me, do you have a minute? Are you the regular delivery man? Uh, have you seen anybody that looks like this woman on your room? She'd be a new customer. Uh -uh. Just have one more row, okay? Actually, Mom, could you take them home for me? Okay. I know, sweetheart. Please go home with Grandma, okay? Thanks, Mom. What's your name? Cherry Pop. Hey. Bye, Sophie. Anything? Karen? Losing my milk, Mom. And even when we find Sophia, I won't be able to nurse her. She's even stolen that from me. I don't know, you always wanted more from me. But all I ever have are small dreams, you know? Not the kind that should come true. man who loves me. Kids. The job that pays the bills. I really didn't seem like a lot to ask for. Oh, my God. 
quiet. I want you to be quiet. Now you're a pediatrician? Look, I don't have to be a pediatrician. I know that there's something wrong here. I think we should call Dr. Robard. No. It's ridiculous. Why don't you try to nurse her? I can't. Don't you think I would if I could? The diabetes have dried up my milk. I am doing the best I can. I can't help it. All right, she all right, won't all right, eat. all right, all right, all right, all right. It's all right. not my fault. Okay, okay, okay. Why won't she stop crying? Why won't she quit? Make her stop. Just make her stop. Please, God. Stop it. Oh, uh, Dr. Robards, please. This is Hudson, Captain Cal Hudson. Well, he delivered my baby last Friday. Of course, I'm sure. I'm standing here holding her right now. When he gets out of surgery, would you have him call me, please? 555-4327. That's Cal Hudson, Captain Cal Hudson. I never went home. I checked in the Look, motel. David, I don't have time for this right now. I don't have time to hear about you. And I don't want flowers or, or a Christmas tree with an angel on top. I just want my daughter back. Where are you going? I'm going on a TV talk show. Molly Thomas Collins. She's giving me some time. She's a scandal monger. Yeah, but every woman on the peninsula watches her. So right now, I don't care if she's Jack the Ripper as long as she gets my story out there. Well, it's my story too, damn it. Karen, look, I'm trying to tell you. I didn't go home. I checked in the motel. I tried to do some work, but I can't. I can't do anything. I can't even sleep. These are just words. You're just feeling sorry for yourself. No, I want her back. Well, if that's true, then you can come on the TV program with me. Go public. Wait, let me ride with you. I still think we should have called first. Uh-uh. Cal would have just put you off again. Surprise, Major. Always the first best tactic. Bianca's gonna be really sorry that she missed you, but I don't think I should wake her. Uh, I think the whole thing pretty much drained her. What's her name? Marie. To my mother. She's adorable. She's been fussing all night. I just put her down. So what do you think of my uh, little mockingbird? <laughs> she's great. <laughs> yeah, she's very alert. Not bad for a three-day old filly, huh? we got a dr robard says he didn't deliver the baby b there's no hospital record of the birth c cal's little mockingbird is at least a month old bianca's close to 40. maybe they found out they couldn't have children and got involved in one of those shady semi-legal adoptions now they want to pass the baby off as their own like the whole pregnancy was a setup, a fake. That's what I think. My God, it's Bianca. There's no way you're going to tie Karen to this. Oh, 
Thompson, you know as well as I do, three out of five of these so-called stranger abductions are committed by relatives or friends. As far as I'm concerned, Karen Williams is number one with a bullet. Yeah, what is it? We just got a call on the Williams, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna be spotted this time, Star Search. I think you should talk to this guy. Yeah, what makes this guy any different from the rest of the local crackpots who've called? Because he's the Air Force Chief of Security. Maybe we finally bought some luck. I'm so sorry, Karen. It's not just you. I guess I was just living in a dream world. Fantasizing that everything was gonna work out somehow, some way. But I do know what I have to do from now on. And that's to stop dreaming or fantasizing, but to make things really work. For me and for everybody that I care about. That's it. I'm going. You can't walk out on me. I'm not walking out. No. Hey, I'm not walking out on you. I want to get some help for the baby. The baby, the baby. That's all you think about. What about me? You give a damn about me. Listen to her, Bianca. I have the whole damn night. She's crying because she's hungry. And I suppose yeah. that's my fault. Here's the program. Now, we're riding on a John Doe warrant. That'll get us inside. But only if we can find a piece of physical evidence to tie the house to the kidnapping. I doubt they're gonna roll the kid across the lawn. You're a real graceful loser. Look, I'm going down to the pharmacy to get some formula that maybe she'll drink. Okay? Understand? You think I'm stupid? I heard you on the phone with Robards checking up on me. I'm not checking up on you. You're starting to sound like one of those pet paranoids from down at that clinic. Red Thunderbird. Bingo. John Doe. Keep you and now you're running hey, out on me. It's too cold out here for the baby. Now get back baby, in the I'm house. Tired of this smelly, Cal screaming Hudson. thing. Captain Cal Hudson. That's right. Bianca Hudson. I have a warrant to search the premises. What the hell for? Captain, we've reason to believe this baby was kidnapped from her home on Friday, February 19th at about 11 a.m. You guys are crazy. This is my daughter. She's Sophie Louise Williams. No, her name is Marie. This is ridiculous kidnapping. I mean, you're making fools of yourselves. Mrs. Hudson. Look around you. Do we look the like baby. the kind of give people who would steal a baby? Mrs. Hudson, give me the baby. I have a birth certificate, for God's sake. Give me the baby. Cal. Cal, tell them. Tell them. Tell them about the nursery, Cal. Tell them. Tell them about the bear from Journey. Cal, tell them. Bianca, what have you done? DePaul, I'd like you to come down to the station, Mrs. Williams. There's something I'd like you to see. I don't want to do that. I really don't. I mean, I want to get our story out. I don't want to waste any more time with that man's sick accusations. Then don't. alive. I mean, wouldn't she have said? Oh my God, David, what if... This is quite a collection. You tell me. That'll do it. Let's go. Why? I was going to lose you. I couldn't let that happen. 
I'd do it again if I had to. No, it's too cold. No, it isn't. I don't want that woman's clothes on my baby. I'll keep it warm.